Hello everyone and welcome to Visual Chem C for Onshape. In this video we're going to be taking a look at three axis toolpath operations to machine this cavity block. Now before we get started I wanted to recommend that you first go through the Visual Chem C for Onshape quick start uh, guide. Uh, it's available in a PDF document and a video which goes over a lot of the setup procedures in detail. It talks about the visual cam uh, interface. So we're not going to go into a lot of that. What we have for this part already created, we have our machine defined three axis. We have our post set to FANUC OI. We have our stock set to box stop to the outside dimensions of the part. We have a setup one, which is defaulted to the world coordinate system in on shape. And we have a work zero, which we've moved to the top outer edge of the stock. So let's go ahead and uh, talk about our strategy for the machine in this part. We're going to start with a facing operation to clear uh, the material down to our uh, work zero. And then we're going to create a pocketing operation for this uh, lip. And then we're going to do some three axis roughing and finishing on the inside cavities. So let's go ahead and get started. We'll go ahead and do it to two, two and a half axis and select facing. And for the tool, we have a face mill already created. We'll use that. For the feeds and speeds, we'll leave those set. Clearance, we'll leave that set to automatic. For the parameters for the facing operation, the tolerance will be 10 thousandths, the stock will be zero. And let's go ahead and select our geometry for the facing operation. So we're going to machine this top uh, outer edge as our machining region. So where's our geometry at? The geometry is located at the bottom of our cut. We want the tool to come right down to this geometry Z level. The cut type will be linear. Start point will be at bottom. The angle of cuts will be zero, meaning it'll go along the X axis back and forth and the cut direction will be mixed. Total cut depth will be zero. We're not going any deeper than this geometry right here. And our depth of each level will be zero and our step distance, uh, we'll set that to 0 0.8. And for the entry and exit, we'll set it to a geometric entry and we'll have a linear uh, engagement motion of 1.0 for the distance and the angle will be zero. So basically we're going to we're going to engage at an extended distance of 1.0 at zero angle. So it's going to come along the x-axis for the entry and for the exit we'll set that to geometric linear 1.0 and uh, angle of zero. So it's going to exit the same way it entered. So let's go ahead and generate the toolpath. So here's our facing operation. As you can see it uh, enters here. Here's our engagement, our cut motion, and then over here is our uh, departure motion. So there's our facing operation. Let's go ahead and create a pocketing operation for this uh, inner lip area right here at the top of our cavity. So go to two and a half axis select pocketing and for our tool we already have a flat mill created we'll go ahead and use that that's a three-quarter inch flat mill and feeds and speeds clearance plane will leave those set to the default values parameters for uh, the pocketing we'll set a tolerance of 0 0.001 we'll set our stock to zero and for the location, uh, we don't want to use this geometry, so we're going to go in and select uh, the top edge of this lip right here. So we're going to, this is where our geometry is going to be. Let's deselect the, let's deselect all of it. Make sure we have just the top edge selected. Okay, so we got the top outer edge of the lip selected for our uh, machining region. And where's the location of our geometry? It's at the top of our cut and the cut type will be offset. The start point will be inside, the cut direction will be mixed. Now for the step distance we're going to make it 0 
total cut depth will be 0 0.1 and for the depth of each cut will be 0 0.1 so we're going to machine this pocket uh, 10 thousandths deep using this upper perimeter of the ledge as the machining region and it's going to be an offset of 0 0.4 so let's go ahead and generate so there's our pocketing operation so now we have a facing operation and a pocketing operation. Those are both two and a half axis operations. Now we're getting into the cavity area where we're gonna use some three axis operations to machine that. Let's go ahead and go up to the three axis menu and we'll start with Z level roughing. Now what that is gonna do, it's gonna slice the cavity in Z level planes and it's gonna rough it out at each one of those depths. So let's go ahead and deselect our machining regions. For a tool, we'll go ahead and use the same flat mill. We'll use the same feeds and speeds, same clearance. For the parameters on Z-level roughing, we'll use a tolerance of 10 thousandths for roughing. Our stock will be zero. So each level will go right up to the stock. Let's leave a little bit of stock. Let's leave 10 thousandths of stock. So for the cut type, we're gonna go ahead and use offsets. We're gonna start on the inside, the cut direction will be mixed. For the step distance, we'll go ahead and make it 0 0.4 and a step down of 0 0.25. So we're gonna do a step over at each level of 0 0.4. Each level is gonna be quarter of an inch deep. And we're gonna leave, at each level, we're gonna leave 10 thousandths of stock around the part. So for the entry and exit, we'll go ahead and use a linear uh, ramp motion and we're gonna set it uh, angle of height angle to 10, the height to 0 0.5 and the distance to 0 0.5. And the engage motion, uh, we're gonna do a linear extension of 0 0.275. And for an exit, we're gonna go do a linear exit with a distance of 0 0.275. So let's go ahead and generate that. So as you can see here, we've got a Z level roughing cut out for the cavity area. And uh, as you can see, if we double click over on here again, we didn't need to select any geometry for the roughing operation because it it compares the entire part with the entire stock and our stock and our part is flush on the top. So it just started from the top of our stock to the first cut level, which was inside of our cavity. So let's go from here. We'll go ahead and do a couple of finishing operations to finish this cavity. We'll go ahead and first we'll do a parallel finishing. And for this, we want to select geometry so that doesn't go uh, past this area, this top. There's a, a small radius lip on the top of this cavity where this uh, step pocket uh, in the cavity meet. So we're going to select that edge. Did a left click to select the chain selection around that top edge of the part. So that'll be our uh, machining region. For the tool, uh, we don't have a ball mill, so let's go ahead and create a ball mill set it to ball mill, the holder diameter will be 1, the holder length to be 1.5, and the shank diameter will be 3 8 and the tool length will be 4, shoulder length will be 2.5, the flute length will be 2.5, and, and the tool diameter will be 3 8 So that will be tool number 3, and we'll save that. So now we have our ball mill created and selected. Feeds and speeds, we'll leave those set. Clearance plane, we'll leave that set. Now for the parallel finishing uh, general parameters, we have a tolerance of 1 thousandths and a stock of zero. So it's gonna cut right on the face of the part for machining uh, finishing operation. So we're gonna use a mixed cut direction. The angle of cuts would be zero. It's gonna go along the X axis. And the step distance, we'll go ahead and set the step distance 125 so an eighth of an inch step over and we'll start at the bottom and for the entry and exit we'll use a linear 
uh, engage motion. We're 25,000 distance in an angle of 10 degrees and then also an exit in the uh, same manner. So let's go ahead and generate that. So here's our parallel finishing operation in the cavity region. Now, offset step was an eighth of an inch. Uh, this is just for demonstration purpose, purposes, but obviously the, the, the smaller the step over, the finer finish you're gonna get uh, on your part. So you can uh, adjust the step overs accordingly. In the parallel finishing, you see that we got some good coverage in these uh, areas here that are running perpendicular to the cut direction of, of zero degrees. But we had a, a larger scallop area in the areas that are parallel to the cut direction of zero degrees. So what we're gonna do is we're gonna use another operation which is called horizontal finishing, which slices this cavity in uh, Z level planes and finishes each uh, level using the ball mill. So let's go ahead and do that. Go to three axis, go to Z level finishing, and we'll use the same machining region. We'll leave that selected. For the tool, we'll use the same ball mill. Feeds and speeds will be the same, clearance will be the same. For the cut parameters, we'll leave a tolerance of one thousandths, a stock of zero, and for the cut direction will be mixed. And for our step down distance, we're gonna set that to an eighth of an inch. And again, you can set this tighter when you, when you do your parts to get a better finish. This is for demonstration purposes. So we'll go ahead and set the step down distance to an eighth of an inch and generate. So now, Here's our uh, Z-level finishing uh, operation. Uh, you can see that it, it cut down in levels of one eighth of an inch step down and it machined in parallel Z-planes uh, all around the part. So there's our operations for this uh, three axis part. We had facing, pocketing, Z-level roughing, parallel finishing and Z level finishing. Now, when you get all your parts, uh, all your tool paths generated, you can go ahead and you can do a cut model simulation and you can also do a tool path uh, simulation on your tool paths whenever you get them generated. For now, we're gonna go right to posting this and we're gonna select uh, the setup and we'll right click and select post process. And we'll go ahead and open it up in Notepad. And here is our G code for the FANUC OI post to cut this part. Well, that's it for now. Stay tuned for more videos on Visual Cam C for Onshape.